President Trump heads the Midwest today. Yesterday, he held a social media summit at the White House. Elon Mui joins us now from Washington with the highlights. Good morning. Good morning, Joe. Well, President Trump is putting big tech back on the guest list. They didn't get an invitation to that social media summit at the White House yesterday, but Trump said that he does want to meet with them soon. We will ask representatives of the major social media platforms to join me at the White House over the next month, so we'll let you know the date. Yesterday's summit included about 200 conservative critics of social media who say the platforms are biased against them. Several Republican lawmakers attended as well, including Senator Josh Hawley of Missouri, who's been leading the backlash against big tech on Capitol Hill. Google, Facebook, Twitter, they've gotten these special deals from government. They've gotten a special giveaway from government. They're treated unlike anybody else. If they want to keep their special deal, Here's the bargain. They have to quit discriminating against conservatives. Now, that special deal he's referring to is the liability immunity that the companies get from the content that users post. It's an essential part of their business model, but Holly has introduced a bill that would require platforms to earn that immunity by proving they don't discriminate. Now, obviously, industry is fighting back against this. The Internet Association sent me this statement after the hearing. Quote, the Internet offers an unprecedented opportunity for perspectives across the political spectrum to be heard. The trade group said there is no bias among any of its members.